If a gorilla stole a lion cub, it would spark an intense and brutal confrontation. The male lion, driven by a primal urge to protect its offspring, would instantly go into attack mode, aiming to reclaim the cub at all costs. Male lions don't tolerate threats to their pride, and the moment the lion closes in, things would get violent fast. The gorilla wouldn't just back down, though. With its immense physical strength, the gorilla is capable of delivering punishing blows and grappling with terrifying power. It could easily tear down trees, break bones with its fists, or toss the lion around with its massive arms. But while the gorilla is stronger in terms of raw muscle, it lacks the instincts and finesse needed for a kill. Gorillas are not natural hunters. They're built to wrestle and intimidate, but they don't possess the tools needed to bring a predator down for good. On the other hand, the lion is a seasoned predator with razor-sharp claws and teeth that can rip through flesh with ease. Its body is built for lethal efficiency, strong hind legs for pouncing, sharp claws to hold prey down, and a bite force capable of crushing a gorilla's bones. Even though the gorilla may land heavy hits and use its hands to grab and fling the lion, it wouldn't have a clear path to deliver a fatal blow. The lion's thick mane would even offer some protection around its neck, one of the most vulnerable areas. In a fight like this, the lion's quick reflexes, speed and natural weaponry would give it a massive edge. While the gorilla could possibly fend off the lion for a time or land a couple of solid hits, it's not accustomed to dealing with something that fights back with deadly force. The lion's predatory instincts would kick in, making it more dangerous as the fight goes on. Its focus would likely be on the gorilla's throat or head, aiming for a fatal bite while using its claws to slash at the gorilla's body. The gorilla, on the other hand, might try to grapple and overpower the lion, but its lack of agility and killer instinct would leave it open to repeated attacks. Even if the gorilla managed to momentarily pin the lion or throw it off, the lion would keep coming back, relying on its endurance and ability to inflict real damage. The fight would be long and brutal, with the gorilla trying to use its strength and size to wear the lion down, while the lion's sharp claws and teeth would cut deep with every attack. Ultimately, the lion's relentless aggression and killing instinct would likely overwhelm the gorilla, whose body, though strong, wouldn't be able to withstand the repeated slashes and bites. The lion, trained by nature to kill, would eventually land the decisive blow, bringing the fight to a bloody end.